Mirror, mirror, what do I see? A loving person lives in a loving world. A hostile person lives in a hostile world. Everyone you meet is your mirror. Mirrors have a very particular function. They reflect the image in front of them. Just as a physical mirror serves as the vehicle to reflection, so do all of the people in our lives. When we see something beautiful such as a flower garden, that garden serves as a reflection. In order to see the beauty in front of us, we must be able to see the beauty inside of ourselves. When we love someone, it's a reflection of loving ourselves. When we love someone, it's a reflection of loving ourselves. We have often heard things like I love how I am when I'm with that person. That simply translates into I'm able to love me when I love that other person. Oftentimes, when we meet someone new, we feel as though we click. Sometimes it's as if we've known each other for a long time. That feeling can come from sharing similarities. Just as the mirror or other person can be a positive reflection, it is more likely that we'll notice it when it is a negative connotation. For example, it's easy to remember times when we have met someone we're not particularly crazy about. We may have some criticism in our mind about the person. This is especially true when we get to know someone with whom we would rather spend less time. Frequently, when we dislike qualities in other people, ironically, it's usually the mirror that's speaking to us. I began questioning myself further each time I encountered someone that I didn't particularly like. Each time, I asked myself, what is it about that person that I don't like? And then is there something similar in me? In every instance, I could see a piece of that quality in me, and sometimes I had to really get very introspective. So what did that mean? It means that just as I can get annoyed or disturbed when I notice that aspect in someone else, I better re-examine my qualities and consider making some changes. Even if I'm not willing to make a drastic change, at least I consider how I might modify some of the things that I'm doing. At times we meet someone new and feel distant, disconnected, or disgusted. Although we don't want to believe it, and it's not easy or desirable to look further, it can be a great learning lesson to figure out what part of the person is being reflected in you. It's simply just another way to create more self-awareness.